cart will be coming through the cabin oh. shortly. Please refer yeah. to the catalog located in the seat pocket in front of you for any items you may wish to mention. Heard from Donna? I get these daily interminable emails that I have no time to read. She doesn't seem to have mastered pith. Le mot juste. Donna's style is more along the lines of le mot mot. Josh arrived to Gaza. Couldn't even unpack. By the way, still no comprehension of the money. Probably criminally under or over tipping the entire Palestinian service sector will either be run out on a rail or given a parade upon leaving. We were immediately whisked down to a meeting with the Fatah leaders. If that sounds fascinating, then you've gotten more out of the description than the experience, I promise you. Turns out Palestinian politicians are just as calm inducing as our domestic variety. Hang on. What's up? Explosion in Gaza, the Kadel, some fatalities. Donna? It just happened, that's all I know. And a parent car bomb has MSNBC's got it! I, I'm holding. I've been holding. Carol? I keep getting cut off. Try his cell phone directly. I'm trying. Not through the switchboard. I'm calling his cell phone in Gaza directly. And getting cut off. Yeah. Do we know anything? We're trying the on-scene field producer's cell phones, but can't get through. You're probably a little busy right well, now. Well, they could answer their phone, or not. Donna, and We don't know anything yet. Carol? No one's getting through. Hello? Andy? How are, how are you? Are, are you OK? She's all right. She's, uh, she was in the other car, and she's all right. You're all right. Oh, my god, I see her. Where? On the right. Uh, yeah, yeah. On the cell phone, right there. We can see you. You're on TV, on the, on the monitor. How's Donna? Two congressmen confirmed dead. Corbin DeSantos. What about Donna? What about Donna? She was in the car then. And he saw people putting ambulances. That's all she knows. Yeah. I'm just, uh, I'm just glad that you're OK. I mean, just come home, will you? Just uh, get the hell out of there or come home. Moss, Donatella Moss, tall, blonde. Do you have any idea of her condition, where she was taken? I understand. Is there anyone there? Yeah, this is Josh Lyman calling from the White House. The White House. Yes, where the president lives. I'm looking for information about one of the U.S. bombing victims, Donatella Moss. Are you kidding? That's Donna. Potential bleeding issues. Dire issues? Significance the word they used, but dire is good. How's Donna? Some issues. Life threatening? Significant. Hey, Donna, okay? Some issues. I'm not sure what they you are. You know what? Maybe we'll do this all at once. Josh? Okay. Any news on Donna? Some issues. Potentially significant. With bleeding. Anyway, there's been major blood loss. Poor kid. What's going to be our response? What do you think it should be? Regime change. Take out the chairman. He is the impediment. The Palestinians never miss an opportunity to miss an opportunity. I bet you've been slime. The guy in Tel Aviv's no picnic either. The state's convinced nothing can happen until these two guys are gone. Israel's not the problem. The settlements, the wall. Israel needs to blow Americans up. I'm not saying there's equivalence. Israelis don't talk about driving the Palestinians into the sea. Some do. Oh, come on. You've never heard the phrase greater Israel? Not from anyone serious. One reason people say nothing can happen until these guys are gone is the feeling they both may be stuck in old attitudes or assumptions. And there was a time when Palestinians and all Arabs wanted to drive Jews into the sea. But some would argue that time's passed. Listen to some Arab broadcasts. Rabble rousing to distract their street. I'm not sure any credible Arab leader truly expects Israel's demise anymore. I mean, not even the chairman. Don't bet on it. Well, there's a view that... Don't keep saying some argue and there's a view. Can we restrict it to your view? Okay. Palestinians are no longer fighting to destroy the Jewish state. They're fighting for a state of their own. A revolutionary struggle against an occupying force. And revolutionaries will outlast and outdie occupiers every time. I don't know if that's more simplistic or naive. It's tribal. It can't be solved. It's Hatfield and McCoy, and there is no end.